You know, I never thought it would take this long to start doing reviews, or that this would be my first one. Ah yes, Spongebob Season 1. I've chronicled my love for this particular season in a previous video, but there's one episode that's conflicting across the fanbase. Squeaky Boots. Some people like it, others simply don't care, and a lot seem to dislike it. Where do I stand? Let's start at the beginning and see what exactly is going on within the episode. But before we start this review, a few disclaimers. This is my very first. Please let me know how I can improve in the comments. This will take heavy inspiration from CGS001's reviews on his channel, so if the structure seems familiar, that's why. Also, I must warn you that you may not want to watch this if you've never seen this episode. We good? Good. Let's do this thing! The episode starts with Mr. Krabs celebrating Pearl's birthday and giving her a gift. Okay, viewers, what did Mr. Krabs get for Pearl? A. A sofa. B. A PS5. Or C. The title of the episode. Hey, you shouldn't have! I mean, Dad! You really shouldn't have! If you said C, congratulations! You ain't stupid. So, what's a stingy crab to do? Now he's stuck with these boots as his daughter up and refused to even hold. Incoming Spongebob! Crabs and Spongebob strike up a deal, and he gives Spongebob the boots. All is good, right? <laughs> yeah, true to the episode title, the boots are very squeaky to the point of driving Squidward and eventually Crabs insane. It gets to Mr. Krabs so much that he breaks into Spongebob's pineapple and steals the boots. Silence and money. Mr. Krabs! Yeah, you shouldn't have done that, buddy. In the midst of Spongebob's sadness, a customer tries to order, but all Mr. Krabs can hear is the sound of the sin he committed under the floorboards. I smell inspiration, but we'll get to that later. Mr. Krabs does the rational thing and eats Spongebob's boots and refunds him his paycheck. Pretty typical fast food stuff. Happens every day at McDonald's. All joking aside, what do I like about this episode? As I hinted to earlier, this story takes heavy inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart. Crabs going insane after burying them in a restaurant's floorboards was a big thing that showed it. Another thing I like is that Mr. Krabs' descent to madness feels very understandable and is paced very well. The episode's funny, too. Whether it's Spongebob's talent with the boots, Mr. Krabs versus the window, or Spongebob simply saying, Um, why did you eat my boots, Mr. Krabs? I found this episode very humorous. Now, I know I'm definitely in the minority here, but the squeaking in the episode never got on my nerves but it also served the episode's plot very well by annoying the other characters more than the audience. Well, at least to me anyway. I also really liked that the episode attempted a much spookier tone than usual. And lastly, the nice moment Mr. Krabs and Spudra have at the end, I really like it. But I know what most of you are waiting to see, what the episode got wrong. Not much, actually. If the squeaking during the episode did irritate you, I can completely understand that. They do use that same sound effect over and over and over and over again. My real problem comes with the fact that this episode quite blatantly recycles animation from earlier scenes. Watch Mr. Krabs' freakout sequences again. You'll quickly see what I mean. The beginning, while it sets up the premise rather well, doesn't portray Pearl as good as it probably should have. That especially hurts since this was her first appearance. And that's it. That's honestly all I could find wrong with this episode. How was it overall? Squeaky Boots is easily one of Season 1's most underrated episodes. I really like it, but looking at this from an unbiased perspective did make me notice a few mistakes. But I still found it an enjoyable experience for those able to watch. Now, how would I give a recommendation? CJ uses the Out of 5 system from X-Play. Hmm... I got it! Sonic games use a letter ranking, so maybe I will too. E being the lowest and S being the highest. While this episode is no ripped pants, it's still good enough for... As for my next review, how about you tell me what you want to review of by commenting on my Twitter? If I like your idea enough, it might just happen. You can also comment down below. That's all for now. See you in my next video. Goodbye! I, I, I'm never